All right. So for those of you that do not know who I am, uh, my name is Destiny Prater. Um, I am a one star double platinum. I've been here for about two years. Okay, January uh, 2020. Oops, <laughs> I said that wrong. Uh, January uh, was my two years, so it's been a little bit like that. Um, I'm still letting people in, guys. Sorry, bear with me for a second. All right. Okay, so uh, we do have a special guest for this training, right? Um, so that's the exciting news. Uh, it is going to be kind of like a quote training just to show you guys a different perspective, um, you know, a different point of view, I guess, um, on quotes. Um, I'm going to show you guys uh, really quick just how I usually do my quotes. Um, the agent that's going to be presenting today does hers a little bit different. And I just thought it was so fascinating the way she did it. Um, so that's why this training is actually happening. I think you guys are going to love it. Um, so let me just show you kind of like my little, it's kind of like a generic little really simple way, um, which is there's nothing wrong with it, right? Because you guys can do quotes any way you want, right? Um, so let, let's start with that. Uh, before we get started, Everybody throw in the chat box, where are you guys at in your business? How long have you been here? Okay, have, let me know how long you've been here and if you guys have already started putting quotes together. Do you guys already have some practice or have you never put a quote together before? So we can kind of see where you guys are at. Okay. I'm also gonna make sure that you guys are all muted. We have somebody that's never put one together, never put one together. Newbie, newbie, okay. A couple of you guys have practiced, awesome. Okay, so let me, I'm gonna share my screen. <clears throat> one second here, guys. All right. Everything good? You guys can see the screen? Everybody can hear me all right? And just so you guys know, for those of you that have never attended my trainings, um, when I'm on a training, I'm so, uh, I ask a lot of questions. I like to get feedback from you guys. I love when the chat box is blowing up, so I know you guys are paying attention. So um, I'm gonna expect you guys <laughs> to participate. <laughs> um, it just lets me know you guys are there, you guys are, learning something um, and stuff like that, right? All right, let's see. We have some people that have done like 10 quotes and we have some that haven't done any at all. So that's awesome. We have a really good mixture, okay? So that's awesome. Okay, so <clears throat> first let's start with a simple, easy way to do a quote, right? I'm just gonna show you guys um, two examples. One of them is one that I've done and one of them is one I got from somebody else uh, just to show as an example. So. This is kind of hard to see, I know. Um, I'll try to zoom in a little bit here. This is a quote I put together a while back, um, about a year ago, in an email, right? So I just went through, you know, I looked up all the information uh, that the client asked for, um, and I basically just copied and pasted stuff from the event, right? So that's kind of how this all got in here. I just copy and pasted it from the vendor. Um, a lot of the times at the bottom of the quote, I'll just throw in a couple pictures, right? Just attach the pictures uh, to the email. And that's uh, uh, how a lot of agents will do it. They just keep it super simple. Um, you guys can do them any way you want, right? And I know that's kind of like a vague statement, uh, but you can't. You guys can do them any way you want. Some people make flyers. Um, some people use like Word documents. Um, speaking of a Word document, that is another example I have. This was done, uh, some people make them into PDFs also. Um, this is one that was done on a Word document, okay? Um, but yeah, you guys see kind of how it is set up. It looks super, super neat, um, nice and professional, right? So there's many ways to do that. Um, the way that we're gonna show you today um, is a little bit different and I actually really like it. It's kind of like a flyer, um, I'm gonna say, 
Um, we actually have Daryl Wood on, and she is actually a newer agent. Um, she's been here for a few weeks, uh, maybe just over a month, if I'm not mistaken. Um, she's a sober consultant, you guys, and she has literally came in this business and just killed it, right? Like, so motivated. Um, I mean, I've just been blown away, right? Already ready to jump on and do a training. I mean, it, it's just been, it's been amazing having her on the team, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop sharing my screen. I'm going to go ahead and let Daryl jump on. Introduce yourself, Daryl. And then if you want, you can share your screen and kind of take over. Um, you guys, if you have questions during her training, I'm sure she won't mind. Um, I'll keep an eye on that chat box. And if there is a time where I can read your guys' questions um, for her, and maybe she can answer if you guys have questions during that, okay? So participate, right? <laughs> All right, Daryl, are you here? I am. Can you hear me pretty good? Yes, perfect. Good. Well, thank you guys for coming. Um, like Destiny said, um, I have been here. I started February 1st of last month, so I've been here a little over a month. Um, I am, I'm a stay-at-home mom. Uh, I'm an army wife, so I got, I have a little time on my hands to kind of play around with stuff and, and my ADHD and my OCD kind of help on the quote aspect of it because I can, I'm very methodical and very organized. So I like to have everything lined up and I know that's not everybody's thing and that's totally fine. This is your business and you can run it however you want. Um, the reason that we do all of these trainings is so you guys can see how people do things, how people um, look for things and how everybody can do it their own way and figure out what works best for you. Because we all know that being taught something, being shown how to do something, it may seem like a great idea, but it may not work for you. Maybe your brain doesn't work that way, or maybe the way that that's done doesn't seem like something you want to use to run your business. And that's fine. You can choose, you can pick and choose from every, like everything that you see, everything that you um, come across, whether it's on a training that you see with us, with another team, if you're just searching around on Google and you see something, you see something worded, how you, um, how you want everything to look for your business, that's fine. Cherry pick, pick and choose what works for you. And just as long as you are going forward and you are making sure that your business is running how you want it to, and it works for you then that's fine. Um, like Destiny was showing all of the little things, um, how she does her quotes by email and sending them in like a PDF or by a word. That's what works for a lot of people. For me personally, um, I am a very visual person. Uh, if you send me a word document or a PDF that is just full of a lot of information, sometimes depending on who you are, it can kind of not resonate with you or you may not get the point across very well. So that's also why I know personally for me, when I'm doing zoom trainings and stuff, when I like to watch them, um, if somebody, if they're doing like the screen sharing and you're being, being able to follow along with like a presentation or something, I get more from that rather than watching like, um, or listening to somebody just do, uh, like a phone call or a zoom call when there's no, there's nothing on the screen other than like a name or a picture. Um, I'm a very visual person. So the way that I do quotes is, um, a little different and I'm going to go ahead and screen share. Um, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and share. All right. So don't mind my kids. Uh, there's my kids. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up. So what we're going to do today. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I prepare my quotes. So I'm going to give you an example of a universal quote that I sent to one of my clients who happens to be my sister. So this is how I come up with my quotes. Um, it's like a flyer. Um, if you're, if your clients want something that's very, um, condensed and just put it all on there, but they want to make it, you, you want to make it look a little bit more professional, you know, 
um, this is the way to do it. So um, I found this, uh, this quote, I think, I mean, this, um, this flyer or this, it's obviously on Canva. I live and breathe by Canva <laughs> because there's so many options for you to use on Canva to um, have different, uh, you can do flight, you can do anything for social, you can uh, social media, you can do anything for marketing, you can do things for your own business. Um, it's just all there for you. You just have to get in there and play around with stuff and be prepared to have a learning curve. Because if you've never used Canva before, if you've never done any kind of um, editing things um, and all that stuff, it's just a learning curve. Um, some people it takes longer. Some people just get onto it real quick and they're ready to go. So this is how I do, like if I'm just, if they just want a, a nitty gritty flyer um, with their quotes. Um, so this was, um, I went on to, I did, I got all my quotes previously and then I plugged it into this. So it's got all their, like their dates, how many adults, how many kids, how many rooms are included on the quote. And then because they didn't want to stay, uh, since this is a universal quote, I, they wanted to actually do part of their stay at Disney, part of their stay at Universal. So what I ended up doing was I didn't give them this flyer, but I still had it. Um, and I created something else for them that allowed um, me to include both the uh, Universal and the, and the Disney. And since they were going to be going to Universal for part of their trip, I ended up, we ended up agreeing that them staying off of Disney property was probably the best bet. So um, I ended up doing quotes for all three of these, biz, um, these hotels. Let me blow it up just a little bit more for you. So these three hotels that were going to allow them to visit the park and visit Universal during their time. And I put like how many distances from how much distance from the park was. Um, what, this is mainly for like the Disney part. So um, let me go back to, so my, <clears throat> sorry, the Disney quote one that we're going to be working on today. I went ahead and looked at it a little bit. So it allows you to put whether, what kind of resort it is and then put your number of days. And then if it, the including price down here at the end, um, if it's going to have like a, if it includes the base ticket for the park, the park hopper, water parks, park hopper plus genie plus. Um, and I, I found this on Etsy. So when I first started out, I basically just went on Etsy to find anything that I could use to go into my business that was going to help me to organize, to keep everything looking good and everything like that. Um, so this is what I found on Etsy. And then I've just basically made it to what I need. Um, but we sometimes, like I said, this can be sent to your client um, just if they want something one sheet um, and go from there. However, this is what I ended up turning their quote into because my sister is very visual like I am. Um, and so I ended up turning it into like a presentation slideshow. So you get like your little, your first off little slide, and then it goes into your vacation proposal. And then you basically just say, you know, it, it's just all the nitty, the good stuff. Um, and then like, this is the Disney pack. So for them staying at Disney, this is the hotel that was going to work best for them. Um, so it was this Rosen in Lake Buena Vista. I put all of the accommodations for that hotel and obviously, okay. yeah. Okay. Would you start from the beginning on this one? And like, will you show them what it'll look like? Let's say that you send it to your client. I'm assuming yeah. it's like a link. Can you like oh, yeah. play through it for them? Because I love this. Yeah, absolutely. So basically when you create something like this, you just hit up here. Like when you send it to your client, um, you have this little button up here that says you may, you basically just download it as a PDF. And when you send it to them, they, it comes up and it looks exactly like a PDF. So let me go ahead and just download this. I, hopefully it doesn't take that long. Um, but when they get it, um, like, you know, you can present it, um, as a, as a, like a slideshow, like for me, you could, if I downloaded it and I could present it, it, it goes like a, um, a, a PDF slideshow, but when you, okay. So since this is downloaded, this is what it's going to look like when you send it to your client. Um, it's going to look like this and they can, if they're looking at it on a computer, 
they can go in and they can view it as a PDF slideshow, or they can just have it where they can scroll. And if they're viewing it on their mobile device, they can scroll and look at it too. So it's all kind of like this. And it, it's really, it's like seamless. It just scrolls and you can look at everything. Um, but if you go back, where's my stuff? And of course I got this stuff up here. Um, so let me go back up here. Somebody did ask a question while you're doing that. Yeah. Um, can this all be done with a free version of Canon? Um, yes and no. So the free version of Canva, I believe it limits you to how many projects or things that you can, you can work on, um, and all that good stuff. So it's, it limits you. I don't quite remember, um, how much, <laughs> how many projects you're allowed to have when you are using the, the free trial, uh, or the free, the free option. I know I started out using it free and I created this when it was free. So um, I know that you can create, I just don't know how many projects you can, you can have going or how many you can create when you're doing it. Um, so that's, that's what I, so when you're presenting it, if you can present it to them and stuff like that, it literally reads just like a, sorry, if you hear my dogs and my kid in the background, they're all being wild today. Sorry, hush your mouth. Connor, I cannot talk to you right now. Go in the living room, please. I actually want to turn in on the uh, Canva freed and paid. I, I will tell you guys, I also use Canva a lot. And um, the I know that the free version, there's a lot that comes with it. But as far as the paid version, um, or as far as the free version, I know that certain images and certain templates, they don't let you use. But there's still a lot that comes with that free version. You guys don't have to pay for it. Um, I'm sure you guys can do these quotes just like hers. Um, maybe a little bit more limited uh, with that free version. But in, in my opinion, I think it's, I mean, you know, I pay for it, but uh, and I think it's like what, 10 bucks a month or 12 bucks a month. Yeah, it's it's not it's not that much at all. And I know like every time we go into a training and stuff like that, I I literally will tell people, you know, yeah, it might cost you like 10, 12, 15 bucks a month for something to for you to use for your business. But you also have to remember that's a tax write-off. True. So uh, you get to use it as a tax write-off every year. Yeah. Um, you did have a question. Did you create the template you use from scratch or did you start one, start with one and customize it? I, um, I originally got, um, a, a a general Disney. Um, so it's, it's on at, it was on Etsy and it was a general planning your vacation kind of thing. So it started off like a general planning your vacation template. And then I customized it to be a Disney and I've also used it for, oh my gosh, this thing up here just drives me nuts. I can't handle that up there. I'm like, I can't see anything. Let me pull you down here. All right. So let me go back to my Canva and I'll show you what, um, what it came as. And then I basically made, I made it bend to my will. Um, so it came looking like this, a vacation proposal template. So it came like this, very kind of just generic. You can use whatever you want. Um, and then I ended up using it for um, a Disney and then I used it for um, a, a, a vacation for a vacation quote for someone who was wanting to go to Jamaica. So I kind of did it to where um, I did it. It's the same kind of template, but you can add like, this is nice. Like I created this and it is, um, it goes into like their flight stuff and it lays it out pretty nicely. So it's not just like a, a line by line kind of thing. It helps to visually be a pleasing. Um, and so it goes into all of like the different options for their, and I, all these, I got these directly either from the, um, the hotel's website on their travel advisor, when you're booking it through Vax, that's where I got a lot of my photos. And this is the actual room that they have up there. So they can actually see that this is what their room will look like. Hopefully. I mean, we never know. Cause unless you go there, you don't know. Um, and then I put on there, like this was an all-inclusive resort vacation, um, included all of the amenities for their all-inclusive. 
And um, I put down here, you know, they're all inclusive price with airfare. You will see a lot of people that when they do their quotes, they'll do them, um, they'll give the prices that are per person. And I don't do that. Um, the only time I ever do per person is when I'm doing mock bookings for social media, um, just because it seems to not be as expensive or as exuberant when you're putting a per person in a mock booking. But when you're creating a quote for someone, um, they like to know what that, what their bottom line is going to be. Um, if you say, you know, my, I, I don't want, I, I really want to go to Disney for under, under $6,000. So that also helps you to make sure that you're putting stuff in that includes all the things that they could need. And I try to, when like on this slide here, um, I always put down, you know, when I'm doing my quotes, I don't include travel insurance, even though, you know, like the trip insurance, I don't put that in there because it increases the price and, but there's a fine line between, you know, if they want to go, if they don't want to go spend more than $5,000, this is their price with airfare and everything. Um, I always give myself, you know, what your travel insurance is going to be. So I always make sure, you know, okay, this right here on my screen, if they end up going with travel insurance, it's not, it's still going to be around their price. Um, of what they don't want to spend. So you're taking care of them by acknowledging their budget um, or how much they don't want to, they don't want to go over or whatever, but you're making sure that they will still be covered on their trip insurance. Um, I try to do that with all of my people. I never want to quote anybody without travel insurance and then explain to them what the travel insurance covers. That way they know everything. Um, but I just, I don't like hidden surprises and I don't like, oh yeah, guess what? Here's your, here's your quote. It, but if you want to be protected on all of this, you got to add two to $300 more. Um, so I just like to put everything out there. And then of course your terms and conditions, I just come up with this just so I, you're covered and stuff. So letting them know they have to pr put a deposit down, they have to make it in full before, you know, whatever. Um, and then, you know, your last slide, your next steps, if you're ready to book your vacation, respond to the email that was sent with this proposal. And if you want to see a change, respond to the email with the proposal and let me know what your feedback is. And of course, you're not just going, to, most of the time, if you're contacting someone about a quote, you have them in your, um, in your smartphone, you're texting them, you might have them in your Facebook messenger, you might have them somewhere else. So you're, it's not like you always have to just wait for that email. You're going to be in constant contact with them. Um, but yeah, this is how I do my quotes. I send both just so they have a really simple sheet, but I found like, they like to have these little slideshows because especially if it's a family who's going together, it's kind of like a, like a really fun thing that they can pop this up on their computer and everybody can gather around and you guys can view it or you can throw it up on your TV. And it just becomes, it starts the process of, oh my gosh, we're going on vacation somewhere. So. Now, um, <laughs> slideshow, um, I know there was a question about as far as all the wording and stuff like that. Do you just copy and paste a lot of that from the vendor? Or do you just retype it all out? Um, yeah, so basically uh, what I can, what I'm, I'm going to, we're going to focus on this one. Cause this is the one that I, I spent a lot of time on this honeymoon <laughs> because they're, I mean, they're really good friends of mine. This is their honeymoon and stuff. And before like the slide, you're, the show you're seeing here, I had it originally, um, it had four hotels in it. Um, and it had a resort on property on Disney property. Cause it was going to be a honeymoon to Disney. Um, and so it had a, but they wanted to know all of their options, right? We wanted to give them all of their options and make sure that they were given all of the information that could make this honeymoon trip in their best interest. So I gave them a quote for a Disney hotel resort on, on, um, on property. And then I gave them three resorts off property. Um, and of the three resorts off property, I gave them a Disney official, off property right off of Disney Springs. And I gave them a good neighbor hotel. So this one right here, this is the good neighbor hotel that they chose. And then I gave them a, an, an option that was not a Disney hotel, um, a Disney approved or a good neighbor, just so they had an option of all three. And the way I got here was, I mean, I honestly, 
when I do a quote, if somebody says, hey, I want to go to Disney, my first thing I do is I go to, yeah, thanks for telling me. Yeah. Okay. So I go straight into DisneyTravelAgents.com. And that's where I go first because, um, hold on, let me start up. Can I wait? Um, I go there first because you want to know what's going to be available. Um, and if, and if it's going to be and plus they have, it's, it's another visual thing for me. So, uh, in Walt Disney world, let's go ahead and put in the dates that they were going to go. Come on, come on. All right. So 17th through the 24th to adults and we'll go ahead and find prices. Um, I ended up not booking their travel through Disney agents because they needed a flight and they needed transportation. And I personally like to do things all in one place. So I did all of their stuff through Vax. But when I'm looking, this is especially for Disney, this is where I go first, because this is also where you're going to be able to check how, bu how busy the property is for that time frame. You're going to be able to check and see how, uh, if you're going to be able to get into the property because of tickets for that time frame. So this is always my first place to go. Um, so I think I booked, I think I put down for them, see, just for that time frame. I just checked it just a little bit ago before this Zoom started. And now I'm back in. And as you can see, there's nothing available. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just checked it and I think there was one or two. So, um, that's just crazy because I literally just checked. I don't know if that was something wrong with my thing, but, um, so because obviously Disney's not going to be how we go. So I go to Vax and this is where, if I have somebody who is wanting to go somewhere, um, this is literally where I, I try to book all of my stuff just because it's easy you get, you have so many options to look for suppliers. So like all of this, um, for my sister that went, uh, that I did the booking for, well, I did the quote for universal universal has a great thing on here and you can look at everything all in one place. And I am all about not having to jump back and forth between, um, I accidentally muted you. Oh, I was like, I was like, I was like, <laughs> is there a ghost that's muting me? What's happening? Oh, um, <laughs> all right. So, um, going back to this Disney one. So I like to go to fun jets for Disney, um, because, you know, I can plug in flight and hotel. They're going from Raleigh cause we're in North Carolina and they're going to Walt Disney world. So I put in a Walt Disney world for Orlando, one room, two adults. Um, let's put in. October 17th through the 24th. And I always like to add travel protection because it helps me to know what end game is as far as dollars. Um, so I put that in with travel protection because, you know, if they are saying, I know that their budget was $4,000 for their entire honeymoon and they wanted to be gone 17th through the 24th. I knew right off the bat because they wanted to not spend more than $4,000 and they were going to need flights, tickets, and a hotel that we were not going to be staying on Disney property. <laughs> I just knew it. So um, I gave them a quote anyway, just because that's what our customers want. They want to know all of their options, um, but we need to make sure that they know this is not going to be a reasonable request just because either it's going to be not available or it's going to be something that is not what we what we're looking for. Okay. So first thing I do is if, okay, once it's done and it's finished, I go down to points of interest here and I click view all and where am I? What is this doing? Okay. View all here. So points of interest. And I click on Walt Disney world that made that lets Vax know that that is the whole reason, like you're going to be looking for stuff hotel wise, that is going to be centered around being at being around here. Um, and then up here you can click, if you're just concerned about the lowest price, you can do that. However, I like to go to closest to Walt Disney world. And then it's going to give you all your ones that are starting here that are closest to Disney world. Um, so close to the property. So I, obviously you're going to have to look and you, you're going to have to make sure, you know, okay, I need to 
if tickets, you already know how much tickets are going to be, you need to, you already know what you're going to need to be under price wise. And it's already clocking in your, it just put a base flight up here. So these amount, these dollar amounts is going to include like a base price. So don't worry about that yet. Um, but let's just say, I mean, we all know if you've been doing anything with Disney, Disney, you know that the value resorts are going to be your best bet if you want to stay on resort. So let's go ahead and just, I think what I gave them as their Disney resort to stay on property was, um, is whatever, but um, they ended up going with the Sheridan Orlando. So let's see if they've got... Let's see if I can type that in here. Sheridan Orlando. I didn't spell that right. There we go. Sheridan Orlando Lake Buena Vista Resort. Um, so you click that in. There's your hotel. And what I do is I just look at it first. This is how I got all my information to plug into my slideshow and my quote. First, um, you just make sure, you know, you look, you look at all the nice pictures and all that good stuff. And then you look down, you find out that it's a good neighbor hotel offering a daily shuttle to Disney Transport Park and Disney Springs. That was a big thing for me, because if you've got people that are not getting a car or transportation, you want to make sure that they have access to a shuttle. Um, and you just go through and you look at everything, all the advisories, policies, you look at the property information if you want. The amenities, that's where you're going to find all your stuff. However, I look at this and then I go to their actual, their site, the actual hotel site. And I make sure that what is on VAX as amenities is the same as what the hotel has on their site. So, you know, you're giving them the correct information. So, um, showing this, you know, where did I have all my amenities? Here you go. So their hotel. I put them in a king bed. Um, balcony was not guaranteed because, you know, when you're booking stuff, it says it may be available. So you don't want to tell them, yes, you're going to have it because it may not be available. So you've got all these little things right here and they wanted to make sure they had a king. So we selected our king and go from there. It'll update if it needs to update. It wasn't a price change. Um, so yeah, when it comes to the hotel, I make sure I grabbed all my photos and grab all your information and stuff, grab some, um, all of that and their amenities. And then this is a good one that they loved. So their hotel amenities, this is going to be their room amenities and everything about their room. And then it may have some stuff about the hotel that you want to tell them. And then this here, this is what they're excited about, because as we all know, with Disney right now and COVID restrictions and stuff, um, not all of the food options that would normally be an option were available. So they wanted to make sure that they were going to be able to have a nice romantic honeymoon dinner or whatever they wanted. So I made sure that the hotel we chose um, had restaurants, a market where they could grab stuff on the way um, to the park, back from the park. Um, but I put all this information up here, you know, about the hotel, that it's a good neighbor hotel located just a few blocks from the entrance to Disney World, all that good stuff. And then what I did was I went on YouTube and because pictures are one thing, but giving them a little video, um, I got this directly from the YouTube for the hotel and I copied the link to that video and I plugged it in here. So when they click it, they're going to be see the video from YouTube and it goes all over the whole hotel. It gives them um, a nice little video of everything. It may be just videos of pictures from the hotel, but it's in a nice little video format. So they don't have to keep clicking back and forth from video from pictures. So that's what I did with that. Um, but um, where is, where did I, and I don't know why I did this, but I put all of their flight stuff down here. <laughs> So uh, what I told them was included was their hotel stay, park tickets, airfare, and travel protection. And obviously right here, here's their flight to and from. Um, and going back to VAC, so the, and I know they wanted to go first thing in the morning. And this is not, see, their flight is not even, uh, yeah, their flight is way more expensive now <laughs> than it was. So I'm just going to click this first one for Spirit, just um, to put in a placeholder. 
And then of course, this is the same one coming back. So I'm gonna select that and see, it doesn't change your price or anything. So we've got both of our flights, we got our hotel and you just make sure your dates are correct here. Um, they don't need a rental car because I am going to take care of, uh, they're going to have transportation from the airport to their hotel. Um, travel protection, it's up there. But now we need to look at tickets. So when I booked their tickets last month, it didn't have a base park ticket with Genie service. Um, it didn't have the Genie service like automatically on there. So um, that's fine. So what we're going to do is since they want to go for five days, it's their honeymoon. I told them you know, the first day you go, you're going to want to, um, please stop drawing on the screen. Sorry. <laughs> it's going to cause me to be distracted. Um, so they are going on the 17th, coming back on the 24th. That first day I told them as like, you guys are going to want to fly in and you're going to just want to chill out. You're not going to do anything. You're just going to chill out at the hotel and not worry about it. Plan your day for the next day. Same with the last day that they're there. I was like, the day you guys are leaving out, obviously there's nothing planned. The day before you guys are leaving out, I would not plan anything because you're gonna be you're gonna be tapped out after five days at Disney. So we did five days. And when you click here, it's gonna pop down. You know, this is the day they fly in, this is the day they fly out. So one, two, three, four, five, extra day to down to decompress, stay at the hotel, chill out. So we're gonna start their ticket on the 18th for two, two people and select. So the one thing you're gonna notice from the, see there's a big price difference in their tickets here than when we did their tickets here. Uh, because one March 1st, the ticket prices went up for Disney. Um, yeah, so it includes Genie Plus and their tickets increase and all that good stuff. So got all of our stuff here. Um, before you do anything, what you do is you take all this information, you write it down, you keep this up, um, and you go back here and I mean, yeah, no, not here. You go here and you plug it all in. So to get this information, like for your deposit due and all that stuff, you basically go and you check out. So you go here and it will go and show you, um, all of your stuff. It'll lay it all out once. And this is, this is just to get your quote. You're not actually booking it, obviously. So you make sure everything's good. You go down and you make sure everything's good. There's your ticket price. That way you can write that down. So you can tell them, you know, your tickets are going to be this, your hotel is this, your flights are this travel protection. Here it is. And then you go down here, Connor, please stop running. Thank you. Um, okay. So here you go. So their total amount of payments, they haven't made anything, obviously. Their balance due is the entire balance of that. However, this is going to be your deposit. So you take that deposit amount and you bring it over and you put it in here. And then if they have already decided, if you've already talked to them and you say, you know, okay, you want to make monthly payments, cool. All right. You take this dollar amount and you deduct your... <laughs> Sorry, my dog just barked at a bird outside. Sorry. Um, so you take the deposit minus your, your full payment, and then you can break it up over how many months that they're going to make a payment. Um, that's a whole nother pro that's a whole nother thing. So then you just make sure all your stuff I do on my quotes. I do, especially if they're a first timer, they need the magic. They need the magic of what they're going to go do. So I do your Disney parks. Here you go, Magic Kingdom. And then I put a little video of your ultimate guide to Magic Kingdom. And it goes through all the things to do. I always do it as updated as possible because 2022, obviously they're gonna have things that are not available. They're gonna have things that are not open or new things that are coming. So I always try to do that. Um, same with Animal Kingdom. I do the same thing. Go all the way through. I put new stuff. He is a huge Star Wars buff. That's something that we have in common. So what I did was I added another thing um, that was for Star Wars. And then obviously Epcot, I did the same thing. Um, since they're gonna be staying near Disney Springs, I gave them a little bit of extra information as far as Disney Springs, what they can do and all of that good stuff. And then I just basically say, you know, here's the information covered by your hotel. Here's a brief glimpse of the parks, blah, blah, blah. And that's out of order. Um, 
what's included, hotel stay, park tickets, airfare, travel protection. That way they know what's included. And then I gave them their information on their flight. Um, there's their travel protection information that's not included. So they couldn't make up their mind whether they wanted memory maker or not. Um, since we booked it through Vax, I do not have the option of booking memory maker for them, but I gave them all of the information to book that. Um, they book it before they go to Disney. It's at a reduced rate. If not, they can book it when they get there. Um, their transportation, we decided we weren't doing this. I'm going to do something else. If they have any airport parking um, here in Raleigh, that's not included and their baggage fees. It's little simple things that they don't take into account when they're, when they're doing all of the budget stuff for their flight and their vacation. Um, I gave them all the information for Memory Maker. I gave them information for transportation to and from, which we ended up not doing this. And then here's your next step. So gave that to them. They spent a couple of days looking over it. And then they got back to me and said, look, obviously this is the hotel we want to do. Uh, so that's, and then I went ahead and took out all the other information from the quote other than what their pick was. So they didn't have anything else distracting them. I put all of this in there and then sent it back to them so they could look over it again. And then they were like, yep, let's go ahead and do it. So that's how it works well for me. Um, every quote I've done, I send them this along with their little one page thing. Um, Cause sometimes, you know, is this a big difference between um, some people whose brain works like mine, where they need to see it. Otherwise they don't need to see it. And they just want something just like this, where it's cut and dry. Here's my options. Here's my price. And then this is what it includes. Um, I like both of them because it's a little, it's better than just having a plain piece of paper sometimes, but it looks, it's nice to have it like this. I use these for my, um, if it's a really quick, just Hey, I'm going to Myrtle Beach for the weekend. I just need a hotel. I throw it on this, give it to them. I'm not going to create a whole slideshow just for a trip at Myrtle Beach. <laughs> I just, it's just too much work for me because uh, these things take hours. They take hours. And that's why I do not create these for just anybody. If it's for somebody that I personally know, like family, friends, or really personal people that I know, I will take the time to do this because I know that there is a 99% chance they're going to book with me. Um, they may not book this particular vacation or whatever, but you know that if they ever need to go anywhere, they're go you're going, you're investing your time into this. You want to make sure you get that back. Um, however, you know, if it's somebody just going to Myrtle beach for a long weekend, I may just, I'm just literally going to do this for them because it's a quick vacation. It's a quick proposal. That's how I like to put it. If you're just going for the weekend, you're going to get a quick little, little quote thing. Um, if they want something else other than that, then I'll obviously make it, but it's not going to be my first choice. Um, I just yeah. absolutely love those. <laughs> I got, yeah, they're, they're, they're fun to make. I was that kid in high school that loved to make PowerPoints. So mm -hmm. this was just like, oh my gosh, this is a grown up PowerPoint for me. <laughs> um, I know that we only have, I mean, Daryl, you just did absolutely amazing. You guys, we only have like maybe 12 minutes. So Daryl, do you want me to go ahead and get to the questions so you can answer those? Yeah, absolutely. Open it up. All right, guys. I know there was a few good ones in here. Um, okay, we asked the one about typing it all in. Okay, if they choose not to get the travel insurance, <clears throat> do you have them sign a document to release you from liability? Um, I, Destiny, I don't think that there's anything that we have to protect us or anything like that. It's just, it kind of goes, I guess, when you, when you're booking in VAX and stuff, if they decide, you know, I don't want it it shows up on that invoice, uh, invoice and everything that we send them. Right. Like it just shows, you know, so, you didn't, you didn't choose it and all that stuff. Right. Oh so, yeah. Um, there is a way. So basically as travel agents, we do have the opportunity to type up our own document. Uh, and this is optional, uh, to have them sign. So that we liable if anything was to happen, right. That travel insurance wouldn't cover. Now I, I personally, I don't book without it. I won't book a client without travel insurance. Um, but for the people that choose to, you guys can type up your own form. Um, I used to have an example and I don't anymore. I will get one. 
Uh, yeah, I have I have one too that I just finished up last week that I have saved. I just can't remember where it is. <laughs> yeah. So and and you guys can just have them sign it. You know, just type up a quick PDF. You know, um, and you guys have that option. Yeah. So yeah, Grace, you can do that. Um, let's see. Mallory said, "I love this idea so much. If I were a client, I would be way more interested in booking or in looking at this than a simple PDF." Yeah. Um, do you use any CRM like Travel Travelfly? Um, we are actually, that's something we're going to be talking about later this month on the 20th Destiny. It's talking about your keeping track of your customers and stuff like that. Yeah. But yes, I do. I do have a CRM that I use for my business. Um, I don't have it through Canva. It's through uh, something else. And I actually, I started off with one and then I didn't like certain aspects of it. So I moved over to another one. So if you guys come to the training on the 20th, I'll show you how I keep track of all my stuff. I do pay a monthly fee for it. However, uh, I did create something that I shared with Crystal and Destiny that is a free option to keep track of your customers. Um, and it's not, it's just basic, it's a basic uh, spreadsheet that you just type all of your your people's information in, whether it's customer or if you're on the team building side, um, it has a way to keep track of your team, your team prospects and stuff. Um, but yeah, I have both of those, but I, I'll be able to share that with both y'all. Okay, let's see here. Um, where the where does the deposit come from? She answered that. I see that they got that answered. Um, how do you determine which clients to present? Oh, she answered that one. <laughs> Um, how long does a client have to respond to the quote? Will prices on the quote change within, within a certain amount of time? Yeah. So basically, um, I try to, I tell my, I, like I told mainly the people that I've given quotes and stuff to are family and friends and some people that I know on Facebook. So when I'm talking to them, whether by text or by Facebook message or whatever, I literally tell them, Hey, here's your quote, letting you know that you need to get back to me within, I, I normally tell them you need to get, you need to at least get back to me within 24 hours to let me know that you're serious about it. Um, because we, it's like, I was like, I cannot lock these in, um, for more than 24 hours because there's a, there's a chance that I can go back tomorrow and your flight has increased or your, um, your room has increased or anything like that. So I try to like, I, I try to put it on them. I'm like, look, if you're, if you're serious about this and you want to make, you want to make a decision, I was like, I need to know ASAP. Um, there may be a chance that it doesn't change. Um, I know there's some avenues where we can lock in something, but I don't tell them that. Um, I just give them the, Hey, this is a time sensitive thing. You can't be, you can't be leaving me on red for like a week because I guarantee something's going to change on your quote. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and then somebody also asked, um, can you also put this presentation on Google Docs? Um, I, I know the presentation is very restricted as to where, because of the file, the file size is large. So it's really difficult to, um, cause I know it won't. So when you cut, when you pull it open and stuff, and let's say you're finished, um, sorry, my kid is just wide open, just running around the house saying his Batman. Um, okay. So going here, when you go, we, you have a couple of options, you can share it, um, and you can share it to, uh, your, you can share it directly to somebody's email. You can copy the link and share it. That's how I do it because it doesn't require you to download anything. It doesn't require you to take up space on your hard drive, your phone or anything. That's how I normally share it. However, I have, I, I, I went a couple about it different ways. So you can download it as a PDF, but it also gives you the option to download it as a PNG, a JPEG, um, a PDF print. Um, so, I mean, this is okay. Um, I, it will not download as an MP4 <laughs> because it's so large. Um, it does not like to be downloaded as a PDF. I mean, as an MP4. Mm -hmm. So the sharing is the best option I've found, especially if you're going to email it to them, you can share it directly 
uh, copy the link and then put it in there, or you can just do like I do, and you can just download it as a PDF and then you can just attach it to the email and it'll show up as a PDF attachment. Those are the best ways because it's such a large file. I mean, this one itself, after I dumbed it down was 27 slides and it has multiple videos. That's why it's so large. If I didn't have the videos, I probably could do it, but it would take a lot of space in itself because PDFs take up more space than um, images do. So. Okay. Okay. Wouldn't it be better? Okay. I, I'm going to answer this question. Bill. Okay. Um, <clears throat> wouldn't it be better to just type up a generic form for them to choose which insurance option they want instead of just sending them a form to sign saying they don't want insurance? So, um, what I usually do, and it looks like Daryl does the same thing, is um, when I send that quote, I automatically will have the insurance in there with all the information for it, uh, so they know. Um, I usually just choose the cheapest one, um, just so they have some coverage. Um, however, if that client says they don't want it, it, the reason we have them sign that form that you can make yourself if you want to, is to protect you, right? So if they do say that they don't want it, the the way, the best way to protect you so you're not liable for anything um, is to have them sign something, right? Just saying that they, you know, they understand uh, what can happen if they don't have travel insurance and that they are um, agreeing to not purchase that. Um, that's just my personal recommendation. Um, and then Grace also asked, but the videos won't work in a PDF, right? I believe they do, don't they? What the, uh, the the videos in the PDF, like when you send it as a PDF. They oh yeah, that. yeah. It just it just links everything that's in here, and then you can just um, pull it up on your phone or your computer, and it'll just it'll just play it. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can grab it real quick. Um, and then for those of you asking why she's doing that, for those of you asking about the training on the twentieth, we'll post the information at a later date. Me and Daryl still need to get together on that. So um, yeah. We'll, we'll post that probably in the next day or two. Don't don't worry, guys. You guys will see it. Oh, of course I can't. Of course I can't find it. Um, but yeah, it will. Um, if you pull it up, um, let me see. Let me just pull this up, and I'll show you what it looks like when a client pulls it up as something. All right, come on, come on, go faster. <laughs> and that it it and honestly, these take these are just because the file is so big it just takes forever to mm -hmm. to do its thing sometimes all right so i'm going to download this and takes a minute yeah canva is like my jam i love i literally am on canva every day because yeah. either either it's for my travel business or i'm helping others in my team like right now i'm people that are coming on to my team i I like to go in and I help them create their own logo and stuff like that. So they can just start running off. So I help them create a logo so they can just start going. So it's fun for me. I like to create. <laughs> yeah. That's how I am with Canva. I love Canva. There's so much that you can do on there guys, especially for like advertising your guys' business. I mean, oh yeah. If you don't use Canva, you guys really should check it out. There's tons. Yeah. Of it's amazing. Like I've got so much stuff on Canva that I use for social media, for like my business page. Like I've got all my other stuff. I've got mock bookings and mm -hmm. all this stuff. Like it's crazy. All right. So let me go back down here. All right. Oh, and that didn't download how I wanted it to. Well, bonkers. Okay. Anyway, but yeah, it pulls up how it should. Um, it just, it just, it pulls up exactly how it would on your screen because it's essentially you're sending them the same link. Um, and then the videos work perfectly. They just have to click on them. Um, it's not just going to autoplay. It's you got, they got to click on it and then it plays right in there. It's not going to open up, um, in YouTube or anything. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. So that's like super simple. You guys, um, there is another training that's going to be happening in like five minutes, you guys. So I don't want to interrupt that training. Um, but um, give it up for Daryl. I mean, she just did amazing, right? Did you guys learn something new today? I mean, the way she does her quotes, I just, I love it. Um, I know it's a little time consuming, but sometimes it's kind of worth that, that extra time, right? Um, I'm going to stop this recording.